Good morning and welcome to Epcot, but today we are going on the monorail to Magic Kingdom. We just happened to park here. Oh, those stairs look not very fun. The whole reason that we're here is because we're coming back to Epcot after Magic Kingdom. We're going to Magic Kingdom first, and then we're going to come back to Epcot, and then I think Animal Kingdom. Yeah, we're going to hit three parks today. We're traveling to the Transportation and Ticket Center. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the doors. Solar farm. It does look like an ear. Second largest hidden Mickey. An alligator. When the doors open, please exit to the right hand side of our monorail's forward motion. This monorail will be returning to Epcot. Thank you. Officially the first ride of the day. Look at all that money down there. There's so much of it. Casey Jr.'s back coming down the track. Do 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 do. The voting begins now. So who wants to hear better when I'm dancing? Ride number two. So for like a week or so, they used to put your name up here for your magic band. They don't do it anymore. The next ride. Let's see if they'll wave to us. Well, they wouldn't wave. What I wouldn't give to see the look on Captain Jack Sparrow's face. I think we found some new pirate themed shirts. Next ride? Yeah, Jungle Cruise. This is pretty interesting when we are in the uh, differently able. Alrighty, looks like we're all. Hey, Miss Skipper Michael, I'll be your skipper, your tour guide, your safari expert for the next three hours. Two years, does anybody know starts with a P? Plastic. And, uh, yep, we gotta keep going. Those real animals are my in-laws. Uh, look what they did to my Jeep. Unbelievable. 
painted it blue. Some animals whose names I don't know, uh, like the pointed ear things up front, giant cheetahs with the long necks, rounded ear things, swirly horn things. Uh, I know what a zebra is, that's pretty cool. Uh, I know what a lion is, yeah, they're not supposed to play together, yep, he's dead. Dead. Tired, tired, dead tired, yeah. Uh, speaking of travel, some of you may wonder how I landed my job out here in the jungle. It's pretty plain to see. Uh, I took a crash course. Uh, I've been winging it ever since, and uh, that's the tail end of that story. Moving on. When you Fun go fact, around in circles that as is much the as tail I end do, of the really plane from the Casablanca scene of, uh, in the Great Movie Ride. <laughs> These guys up here on the right doing the circle dance means one of two things. They don't know how to square dance, or they lost the key to the men's room. If you take a look over here on the left-hand side, you're actually going to see some natives holding spears. Look at them. Yep. Somebody just turned the electric bill. <laughs> Alright. Moving on, folks, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the backside of water. Yay! To the right here, you're going to see the goddess Shirley. That probably means that this is Shirley's temple. So I think we're going to go in. Going to mean one of three things, folks. Treasure, danger, or another Disney gift shop. Let's go. Folks, that's just a little bit of dry humor for you. My favorite part of the cruise coming up, though, I get to point out my favorite plants, that one. That stump. Uh, that piece of bark. One up top is a hibiscus. One right there is a lobiscus. One touch on the water is a sea biscus. That piece of bark right there is a doggy biscus. This is where it gets really, really awkward for me, folks. Hi, Dad. I'm kidding, that's Trader Sam. Uh, he's our head salesman here in the jungle. Two of his heads for one of yours. Anyway, you slice it or dice it, you come out ahead. Ride number whatever, I don't know. The next ride. Yeah, the train's right here. Let me come to that later. Wee. Yeah. What? What are we supposed to be able to see here? That there wasn't any gum in the Magic Kingdom. What do you think this tie down's for? Yeah. Right there. Somebody put a sticker on here? On where? Right back there. Oh no. Where's the oh, it's covered by trees. Stupid springtime. I keep dumping the camera into my backpack while uh, we go down falls. <laughs> With all of our time, we'll see anything and we'll leave it our tongues. You saw what I made a fool of yourself, man. Baby, you just broke my friend. I've been trying to knock you up and at least. Okay, Jen, here comes the big drop. I'm gonna put the camera away because I don't want it to get wet. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared! Ah! Oh my god! No, no, no! Jeez Louise. That was too much water. What the heck? You hit me right in the face. Oh my god. Too much water. How did that hit me right in the face? What is that little thing? What the heck? There we are. So did you tell them what we're doing? 
No, I haven't told him yet. What do you guys think we're doing? Oh, uh, leave it in the comments below if you figured it out. Woody and Jesse are out. Yeah. Next. Now break it down. That was me breaking it down. Like all the way down. <laughs> all right, guys, we are pre-floating. Please make sure you guys fill in all available space by having everybody in the front. We're going to be doing a natural barrel roll. We literally just walked around the path and then came right back in. And we're going back on this boat. Same boat that we came across on. One last ride here in the Magic Kingdom, then we head over to Epcot. I'm standing here inside of this little area here waiting for the Liberty Bell, and I'm gonna see if I can see some of the Festival of Fantasy Parade going by. Here we are on the Liberty Bell. So I just realized that we didn't film very much on the Liberty Bell because we got stopped and we were talking with some friends up there. But the good news is we're off to Epcot now to ride more insert type of ride here. Rail to Epcot. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey. Let's see, here's my waterway where the alligator was. Is he still there? Nope, he's gone. Beyond the trees ahead, and to the right-hand side of our forward motion, is Spaceship Earth. This 18-story geosphere marks the entrance to that What a turtle down there. <laughs> At test track, you can experience the exhilaration of test driving a vehicle on the longest and fastest ride ever created for Walt Disney World. Coming into view is World Showcase. Next is The Land, where you can celebrate the Earth's rich diversity. The Land is also home to Soren, a free-flying adventure across natural wonders. Take an undersea journey into the big blue world at the seas with Nemo and friends. Afterward, surround yourself with thousands of real sea creatures at the undersea observation deck. We are in line to get our pass holder artwork for Epcot. It's Goofy. Here's the artwork that we got. We missed Donald. We just got Goofy. And next month we might get uh, Mickey. And here's all of the pass holder stuff. Well, this is a pass holder shirt. Wait, are these, can you buy these? Yeah, collectible coin for $24. No, the gloves. Oh, I don't know. Those That's are cute. Question. And then you can buy the straw hat. Oh my goodness, I was so hungry, I forgot to tell you guys. We're here at the Mexico Quick Service. I don't know what this is called. We got empanadas. Jen got empanadas. Doug got empanadas. Everybody got empanadas. Next ride, Grand Fiesta Tour. Oh, there's a differently abled boat here for Grand Fiesta Tour. Pretty neat. Look at how crazy this guy looks. Oh, oh crazy face chef.
Here's how Norway is looking. Looks kind of awesome, actually. Here's one that we won't be able to ride. Next thing at Epcot, look at characters in flight off in the distance over there. You guys remember when I rode that? Me and Adam? That was a lot of fun. I think I have a bug on my glasses. Time for a trip on the old friendship boats. I guess they're not called friendship boats, they're just called friendship. Morocco, Morocco, back to Canada. No other stops. I cannot take you home. I cannot take you to Magic Kingdom. I cannot take you to your car. Just Canada, and then Morocco, and then Canada. That will be arriving in a few minutes, so go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy your ride. Next stop, Canada, and then Morocco. Remember where that is and watch the fireworks from there. Look at that duck in his little duck ramp to get out of the water. How nice. Oh. But we're here at the land for one last ride in Epcot. This is a temporary sign, by the way. They must be redoing the nice the land sign. The next whoa, there was a bird. The next ride. We're living with the land. Boat ride presented by Chiquita. Ooh, look at it raining. Beneath the surface of the land, roots trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. One of those living systems is the rainforest home to the most amazing concentration of life on our planet. Food, medicine, and other elements essential to our lives. What is it you can see? Oh, that's the garden grill? Yeah. Oh, there's much of it. Oh, yeah. In the desert, nature has created a very different, but no less beautiful living system. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil. Of all the forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes overuse of the land. We're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals. Welcome to our living laboratory, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. One day, many of Ooh, these lesser I don't understand what a peanut butter tree is, but I want one. As the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than I don't know. 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually making it the Bananas. most popular fruit in the world. Fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bats, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. The sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Where are the shrimp? I don't see them. Oh yeah, there's a Mickey. These plants are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these increase yields while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our Whoa. integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. There's with another it, Mickey. We can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. Scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. 
The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants. So that's all of the rides in Epcot. Now we've got one more and that's over at Animal Kingdom. It's gonna be a rush to try to get there. And this camera is actually all full on the memory card. So we're gonna switch to the GoPro because it's a water ride. So let's do it. All right, we just checked on the app. It looks like it's temporarily closed. So, oh, ding dang. I think we have failed our our quest. Well, it was a valiant effort, but did you guys figure out what our challenge was? Eh? Maybe we'll try it again on a different occasion and see if we can get any further. So we're off and I will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.